Warning, keep fire you adventure life. Failure to comply will result in boredom. Also, the mountain lions will come find you and core out your asshole with their snouts. So, best to just err on the safe side and keep some fire you adventure life handy. Today we continue our discussion of straight lines. Frequent panicky trips to the bathroom are strongly encouraged, but not strictly necessary. And so it is. Okay, this example in China, I think this is all we're going to be able to cover today. We will be doing the Google Earth tour of this example. I also wanted to go over to this area in Mongolia, which is nearby, and check this out. But I don't think we'll have time. And I also wanted to do this Russia ex example and cruise over to Alaska. But I think we will only have time for this China one. We are going to spend, I think, at least an hour, probably two hours, maybe three or four even, on this area in China, trying to figure out what's going on here. And in the off chance we have time, we'll scroll over here, here, Alaska, and a special treat example in Canada. So stick around for that if you stick around for it. Uh, that'll probably be in a, another video though because um, we're gonna spend most of our time on this China one. So let's uh, let's go over here in Google Earth and check this out. So here it is. Uh, this general area in China, kind of like Northwest China, I guess you would say. And I mean, it's probably the whole thing. <laughs> I mean, the whole world, <laughs> but uh, just in the areas I've looked over here, northwestern China and Mongolia, um, there's quite a few straight lines and stuff. I mean, similar to stuff we've seen in Mauritania and stuff. So again, it's just an arbitrary location because the general idea is that this stuff is pretty ubiquitous and can be observed almost anywhere or um, many where, many places. So uh, anyways, that Mongolia example is uh, right up here. Just for reference, this guy here. Uh, and then the China stuff I want to look at is right here. So, um, and then we're going to look at the surrounding area as well. And just for context, etc. All right, so let's look. I uh, I started using paths, this little feature up here, the path, so I can kind of outline the actual path I'm talking about. But uh, all right, let's get going on this. So in this area, we have um, a kind of wall-like feature or ridge and it's pretty long. I think it's 25 miles or so that I uh, saw and it's got multiple parallel aspects to it and it starts and stops kind of, you know, interrupted by the river or whatever. So this could be the trajectory of a, a large-scale earth mover or something or what have you any number of industrial things uh, I'm not so sure um, we're gonna follow we're gonna start over here and then follow it uh, up over here and then take a look at all this stuff um, actually we might as well just take a look at the mining area first just so we have an idea so there's this I think some kind of mining activity like a modern uh, operation and then this ridge thing looking like it goes straight to this operation so it's pretty good assumption that this ridge feature has something to do with this installation um, or pretty safe uh, or reasonable first guess and it could be like this is like a scouting operation that goes you know one of their uh, excavators just goes scouting kind of in random directions and looks for, I don't know, whatever they're looking for. 
and then this thing, this ridge, is like a spoil bank, or the material that the machine kicks up, and it leaves like a, a bank or a ridge of dirt that's possible. Um, I'm not 100% convinced of that, but um, yeah, anyways, let's start at this end over here, pretty far from that, and take a look. So, just give you a feel for the general area, and let's look at this right here. So, we have this path-like thing. Thing. It's not a road. Again, maybe the track of one of these modern vehicles, or even like the vehicle tracks, like we've seen the mysterious tracks in stone. This could be a similar type of vehicle or device that did that. Um, just cruising along, and I'll be toggling this uh, path on and off so you can see where it goes. But here it is. And then continues like this. It's a kind of uh, the way it starts and stops. I don't know. Almost like it's integrated into the mm, not integrated, but I don't know what word I'm looking for. Uh, Well, I don't know. Let's look at the historical photos real quick. 2005 looks basically the same. Uh, this long straight thing and also this parallel aspect. So if it's just one vehicle doing a, a pass, I, I don't necessarily understand why there would be a perfectly parallel track to it. And sometimes multiple parallel paths. And also these little paths along the side and um, I've really only highlighted a few examples. There's just so much to, to observe here. We can't really look at it all. So here we have a change of direction kind of like right, right about here. It's kind of like a slight elbow. Okay, is what it is, whatever. Um, another change of direction here kind of lose it and then pick it back up over here and okay let's keep following it and then I think I kind of lose it around here it seems maybe there maybe there and then maybe here it's tough to tell for sure um, but I'm considering that these are the paths of uh, some type of device which went around uh, giving the earth a makeover like I've said before and then some of the stuff is likely a road so I, I didn't uh, didn't highlight it and I guess in some of these features you can look at trails and stuff uh, global aware like yeah, you can look at all the trails but just because something's a trail doesn't mean it's always been a trail it could have been something that was retrofitted as a trail uh, but I don't want to go off on a big tangent. Um, so let's look over here, pick it up over here. So we have these rectangular thingamajigs. So it could be some kind of ruins or any number of things look basically the same since 2005. So I think this is some kind of old activity or just a test dig or something like that. Um, let's take a look at what's going on with this path here. So here it is, you know, just 
kind of cruising along, nice straight path. And I think I think further along we'll see like some examples. So suspecting that it like comes and like carves around these areas. Uh, so I don't really see it here, but um, I think as we follow it, we might see, yeah, like maybe up here. So let's follow this. Straight path, not a road, not a power line, maybe a buried pipeline, who knows, but so it's like it goes up here and then it continues here and looking at this here, you see that this kind of continues like that and I'm having trouble distinguishing like where the, uh, where the natural um, path, or I mean the natural uh, borders end and where this natural or this artificial feature begins, like like this feature right here, is this an extension of this? It kind of looks like it. Uh, I'm wondering if this, like this is the path of something which like carved around this um, this feature, uh, like went around like etching patterns in the surface, you know what I mean? So like this outcrop, this rocky outcrop was maybe like, zzz, like etched around and then the thing went out this way or whatever. So it's possible. I mean, obviously I can't prove that one way or another. Uh, still see the remnants of it there and there in 2003. Hasn't changed much. Uh, okay. But, uh, yeah, let's follow it. So it goes like this. And here. Nice long path. Okay, continuing, super interesting, and here another potential instance of some type of uh, interference with the natural landscape, let's see. So it's like, it's like you see this linear feature here, and then it seems to continue here like this, and obviously it's artificial because there's like angular elbows and stuff to it, uh, but uh, then it's like this is almost along a line as this, or like it's it, it stopped here and then picked up over here or something like that, or it, you know, did some stuff around here and then just kept going according to whatever algorithm or path system it's following navigation's uh, trajectory. All right, where does this go? Okay, so I'm saying it goes like this. Pretty faint, but um, I'm not, I don't know if we can really see it. Hmm. I don't know if I drew these lines 100% uh, precisely. Uh, sometimes I got lazy and just connected parts. Like I think I know I see it here and here, but I don't really see it in between. But uh, anyways, seems to pick up there. And then I just wonder, like this here, I just wonder if it like continues and can, uh, like does a bunch of stuff in this general area, or uh, you know what I mean. So let's go in here, and where? Um, okay, so we see it there, and we see it over here. So what's it doing in between? 
See, that's where I'm seeing like almost like a path around these outcrops. Like, did it go like this and then bzz, like around? And I mean, that's something a modern vehicle might do. But then even like this, like these, these little areas almost look like sculpted. Hard to say, but like here, something going on. And then there's a lot of stuff in the surrounding areas we'll take a look at as well, like uh, archaeological walls and stuff. So here's an interesting stretch of it here. Uh, so it's like straight here. And then this straightness kind of like just blazes through the material. So it's almost one with the material of the rock. So that's a little odd, wouldn't you agree? So like, this doesn't look like, this terrain here doesn't look like it lends itself well to uh, um, just going straight up the face of it like this, because it looks like somewhat of a rocky, difficult elevation change from here to here. So, but we do see some type of linear aspect to it there, which is collinear with this. And could be a coincidence, but like, that's why I'm saying the landscape itself may not be entirely natural. It may be like uh, crafted or a combination of emergent and crafted. Like some, like it was left for billions of years to take shape in whatever form and then something uh, did an advanced manipulation of what was there or something like that. I don't know. And where else are we going here? So, just getting my bearings here. See here, we see it faintly there. So what it's doing in between here and here, uh, I'm not sure. Maybe it went around. And seemingly here as well. So it's a little more pronounced in some areas than others. Like here you see kind of fading like there. Uh, here it's kind of not very evident, but it's still faintly there. Come on. Not much change in the past few years. And then here it's more pronounced, so like that. So some kind of large scale ridge and pretty wide, I mean, well, like 20 feet, but uh, yeah, well, man, I should probably speed up because we've only covered a little bit, but it keeps going for like 25 miles, uh, just starting and stopping, um, man. So let's keep moving. So there it is, uh, whatever it is, some kind of ridge. Uh, just giving you a good view of it. Continuing, continuing. Nice and straight in some spots, well-defined, very well-defined here, looking like a, a wall almost. And where's that 360 photo? Up here, I'll, I'll show you this photo in a moment. But uh, where were we? All right. 
so keep following it. Fairly well defined and clear with here having some parallel counterparts or aspects to it and even other potential paths as well on different trajectories but definitely some parallel aspect to it here and here we see going through this rivered area or whatever that is continuing here and where else I may have I may lose it here for a bit. I think I'll kind of lose it and then it maybe picks up like here ish. Oh, there it is, I think. That. Well, kind of lost it for a bit here, but uh, yeah, it just continues and continues. And here, looking more like a dirt road almost or something. But that's that's another thing to look out for is features which uh, change along the course of the feature. So like it's one feature along one stretch of the path, and then as you go along the path it morphs into another type of phenomenon. So like a ridge that transitions into a ditch that transitions into more of a dirt road type look. Uh, I think that's part of the, the whole hodgepodge aspect to it. Here's some kind of weird path here, possibly like test digs or something, or this might be a canot. It's like a type of canal potentially, which is, a whole nother discussion. It's a very weird phenomenon. But here's our guy here, this ridge. And not to mention some of this other stuff. But let's try and estimate the height of this. Looks like it's about as tall as it is wide, yeah. Just judging by the shadow. So it's about 20, like 15 to 20 feet tall, I would say. It's a pretty sizable mound here. And just continuing on. Dur to dur. And yeah, I guess I'm showing you the whole thing. Here's a, some type of tower here. So potentially some practical thing going on. Derp, derp, derp. Continues, continues, continues. Here's a traditional road, it looks like. Here, pretty clean. Very clean and regular along this stretch of it. And then nice knee here and moves like this. Let's see, it kind of like just trails off and then reemerges here and then kind of subtly reemerges and on and off. And I guess continues up this way. see here and then see that like when you see it like I don't know it doesn't strike me as a, a pipeline I don't know I guess I don't know my pipeline details but um, I'm just not getting the utility vibe Here continues. Like 
this. Blah, blah, blah. So I think this would qualify as a long straight line, yeah. Nice and long and straight here, continuing. And yeah, so I wonder, like, see the way it, uh, like, here, here you see it, and then also here. So I just wonder, like, what its relationship with this rocky area is. Like, if this is the path of something which crafted this pattern here, this rocky outcrop pattern. See what I mean? But we see kind of faint, like, additional paths, maybe. I don't know. It's possible. Parallel stuff. Like this, this little ridge here seeming to merge with this rock or just go up the side of it. I don't really know what's going on. And continuing, continuing. I think this is it still, right here. Yeah, just a long, straight something or other. Nice change of direction there, and here it resumes with its very regular appearance. And Okay, we might be up by that mining area now. This looks like some kind of mining thing. I don't know, this doesn't strike me as like mining activity. This ridge. Okay, we're nearing the end of it, so bear with me. So we've got this. Again, starting and stopping, possibly due to weathering or just like sandstorms like carrying away some of the sand or sand flows or whatever. Um, could be some type of historical wall to, to the degree that history is valid. Um, so here, obviously here it's more of a protrusive feature and then it just kind of trails off and then here it's just kind of like a faint line etched into the surface, like very faint. So that's kind of like the transition from one type of feature to another. Like just kind of like a groove here, contrasted with a fairly major ridge here. So not sure what's going on there. Could just be the feature soup or feature salad protocol. Just wobulations along the path. It'll just do one thing for a while, like and then it'll switch it up and do something else for a while. Uh, and we see these uh, notches or mounds or little uh, bumps or I'm not sure what these are. This could be modern or part of this I'm, I'm sh they seem to be correlated with this somehow. Uh, I'm not sure if that's natural or a tower or something, but here the ridge kind of just fades out and then fades back in. Might be a wall. More of it. More, more, more. And interesting landscape here. All right, let's pick it back up. Where to go? Okay, so I guess this is the end of it. And then uh, yeah, that's as far as I followed it. But I rather suspect that this whole landscape is. Um, well, there's some modern stuff here, but the whole landscape may be terraformed as well. 
and okay so here we have the end of it here more or less or maybe it picks up here again uh, actually here yeah so here we have some of it whatever it is uh, yeah and then continuing like this and see it does run straight into this uh, whatever mining operation this is or industrial thing uh, I just don't know if it's one in the same with it like it's it's it runs in right into the side of it um, but you see here where it kind of ends there's no real um, definitive link up with this pattern here here's another one of these ridges hmm like that And one more time, I'll throw it out there that it's slightly possible that some of these major industrial operations are put there as a, a cover-up, <laughs> like to muddy the water. Like, could there be something so clever that it would put this feature here in modern times as a way to obscure this feature here, or the nature or origin of this feature here? And that would be a very weird game that's being played. Um, I mean, obviously there's better ways to erase this feature or obscure it, but maybe there's some weird limits and rules that need to be played by or something like that. I don't know. Here we see one continuing, kind of, I don't know, maybe wrapping around this guy and Continuing out this way and on and on you get the picture some parallel aspect to it and all, also all the tire tracks around so that should be noted but like this I don't know, it seems like this has been here a while at least and on and on and on and on and on on and on and on and on and on so here's some parallel ridges worth noting. So again, possibly more feature soup or feature salad, just like uh, shadowing the existing feature just for the hell of it, um, or echoing it. And I mean, little faint indications of some things. Uh, I don't know what I'm seeing there, maybe this. some subtle things all right uh, I did want to show you something in the 360 photo oh, I think I'm seeing something like along this line here if you see this uh, potentially yeah, continuing here so just these large scale lines. Another long groove. Yeah, and I mean, it's too much to show. Obviously I'm probably boring you to death already with just the one example or the one ridge we've been following. Um, okay, anything else? All right, uh, let me hit these 360 photos and then I'll, I'll hit these place marks too to see if we missed anything. So in this general area, we have this great wall here. It's called, what is it? The Dune, Dune Hang. Dunhuang Great Chinese Wall. Um, so 
this could be like the same type of thing we're seeing, like this this wall. And what I'm uh, uh, proposing is that these features, these long linear features we're seeing are like quasi natural, quasi artificial. Like this is like a extruded, like almost artificial, almost natural feature. I mean, it's probably more towards the artificial end, and so we, we call it a wall, but uh, yeah, I don't know the history of that wall, but it's just for reference because um, this big long wall we're looking at may be something like that, and there's more stuff like that over here, uh, I think, what is this, yeah, so we have like this type of deal. Like, what the heck is this? It's like a big rock muffin. Again, like, it's kind of like brick or something. Like, you see these very regular parallel layers, which are presumably like mud brick or uh, like petrified or calcified or something like that. Um, but it's a very weird look to it. It's like a. Mm, Like, I guess, I want to say like a, an interp interpolation or an average of artificial and natural. Like, it's almost like a natural cliff with some artificial aspects to it. And then we also have little uh, subtle things like this stupid little uh, indentation here. And what else? maybe even like these indentations and then of course this thing and whatever whatever's in the middle of the cavity or inside this uh, structure but I mean it's it's too regular and and fine and parallel to be considered natural I would say but then it's also like fairly natural looking up here so it's like a, a big confusion muddle, like a muddle of styles uh, by design. So I think that's what we're dealing with in the, the general landscape here. So like the, these, these long ridges may be just like that, like it, like it just may be like a, <laughs> like a mud brick ridge cliff thing that's like imposed on the landscape or uh, yeah just uh, enigmatically crafted or formed by high-tech means into some uh, gibberish uh, end result like uh, like it has the aesthetic of old old timiness like an old timey like um, I don't know, like an eroding wall from a previous culture or whatever. And then it's also got aspects of naturalness. Um, all right, so, so far so good. Let's, um, let me see if I touched on all these place marks here. So, uh, parallel lines. So we've got, obviously there's a lot of tire tracks in the area and stuff like modern stuff going on. Um, we do have stuff like this, like these parallel lines, and we'll see more examples in a few minutes of even more extreme examples of like large scale parallel lines across the landscape. This is uh, kind of a small example, but potential terraforming stuff here as well. Like that even right there. Um, Okay, uh, another long ridge. These dots, these may even be like fence posts or something, like for a fence or whatever. Here are more parallel lines perhaps. Okay, another ridge. I think we already got this guy. Yeah. 
even stuff like this, like right here, like little subtle things. I think this whole landscape just may be uh, phony, potentially, or crafted in, in some sense. Okay, um, another ridge. And here, I was wondering if it's mining activity. And we discussed that. Obviously, there is some kind of mining or whatever kind of industrial thing going on here. I just think there's something even bigger going on. All right. Change of direction and continues. I'm just, um, I'm just uh, going through all my place marks here to see if I missed anything. So bear with me. And we even have stuff like like mm, this, even maybe tire tracks, but like see this here and this ridge. Even could be a similar type of deal. Maybe not. Just parallel aspects to it. Here's another ridge off to the side. So we have this main one that we've been following. Uh, and then another one up here. So like this. And like that and continuing on however long. Bumpy landscape, which could be noteworthy. We've seen some bumpiness elsewhere. If you've seen my episode on bumps. Uh, but yeah, this other ridge here. And then here we see some of the potential uh, parallelness, large scale parallel uh, marking of the landscape. Like you see this here and like these parallel ridges here, it's kind of subtle. So you gotta be in full screen and look close, but like this here, see that? And this, so this is kind of the large scale parallel crafting of the landscape I'm, I'm referring to. Uh, and we'll see even more stark examples uh, sometime in the next 20 to 30 minutes, probably. So, apparent end of Long Ridge. All right. I think I hit most of the place marks. Another Long Groove. Yeah, okay. Here's some uh, potential parallel tick marks or something. This, of course, here. Blah. Yeah, and these I found just through like random zooms. So I'm sure if we zoomed in like in a lot of places where I don't have place marks, we could find similar stuff. It's just there's there's too much land to cover. And also a lot of it's covered by sand. And some landscapes uh, shift more dynamically than others. Uh, but I don't want to waste your time doing uh, exploratory scroll around. I just want to kind of show you what results I already have. There's some interesting rectangles potentially. Nice little random find here. Could be modern stuff. Who knows? Maybe another long straight line here. Maybe a dirt road. Whatever. Who cares? Oh, here we go. There's the large scale parallel streaks I was talking about. So let's, uh, yeah, I guess let's touch on that real quick. So, obviously, if we zoom out a little bit, we see the scale of it. So here's China, and then this uh, large scale parallelness. So here we go. Could be natural, certainly. I mean, I don't think there's any chance that this is like conventional modern activity. I don't think that's too much of a stretch to say. Uh, the only question is, is it like a from a catastrophic flood or something? 
uh, I'm leaning towards like it's from a catastrophic uh, retexturing <laughs> or it's like some type of contrived resurfacing. That's just my best guess. I'm not like, super um, invested in that. And some places are going to look similar but have different explanations. So we got to be ready for that as well. But like this is just looking like an artificial markup of some kind on a very large scale. Like, let's get a quick measure. I mean, 20, 20 miles long and what's like five miles wide or 10 miles wide, more of it down here. So, and this is looking similar to the stuff we've seen in uh, Africa and like, well, I guess, why don't we just take a quick look like large-scale parallel scarring. This is what, South Africa or something? Botswana. So here's that, again, the, the large-scale parallel, fairly regular or, or at least fairly clean markup of the land, like almost like mechanically precise in some spots and then more organic and uh, flowy in other spots, so uh, any number of explanations for that, artificial, natural, whatever, um, just for comparison. But yeah, there's that large-scale parallelness extending over a pretty vast area and lots of intermediate markings and lines and angles and stuff if you look closely. Let me try and find. Oh, here's another area with those uh, large scale parallel lines uh, right here. So we have these ridges, which I mean, I could certainly see this being natural, like volcanic activity or any number of things. The, the awkward thing here is like this direction here and then the, the 90 degree uh, direction is present as well, like 90 degrees off. So it's it's mm, that confluence of this directionality, like almost perfectly parallel, and then also this direction of parallel components, and they're just they just happen to be at this um, meet at this angle, which isn't very flowy, and that. Uh, it's kind of obscured by the sand, so we don't get a, a perfect view of how these two uh, patterns meet up. But it's weird enough that uh, I don't think it's out of out of uh, I don't think it's weird to suggest that it may be artificial. Like these, this almost looking like uh, like record ridges, like uh, on a record. Like the uh, I forget what it's called, but like a musical record, you know. So there's a look at that large scale parallel something or other and if it were just one direction or if it flowed naturally into the other direction I might not question it so um, strongly but since it's like parallel this way pretty clearly and then over here it's like the exact opposite direction it's just it's very awkward and mechanical to my eye and I could be wrong, of course, uh, but okay, so, so far we've covered um, this long groove here, these parallel streaks, 
this uh, this area and large spoil piles. Let's touch on that point. So this area we're looking at, and then these, uh, considering the um, similarity to uh, spoil banks or uh, spoil piles, just the idea that these mounds or um, st uh, start and stop little islands of earth are uh, spoil mounds or spoil piles from some kind of dredging or s similar activity to dredging where the dredge kicks up material in these piles. I mean, maybe it just resembles that a little bit. I don't know if that's, that's that doesn't look like what these necessarily are, but uh, that's that. And then these ridges probably associated with the road, I'm guessing some kind of barrier to keep sand out of the road or something like that. I also have stuff like this. Could be anything. All right. Uh, let me touch on some of this stuff up here. Just going through all the examples and trying to give you a feel for the area. So these, we also have these lines these, uh, these dark streaks, potentially volcanic or some type of geo geological uh, phenomenon. We have like multiple directions, like again, the one, one this direction, one this direction, uh, this guy here. And these ones tend to be more flowy and natural right here. Like this doesn't necessarily look artificial, although it could be. And what else? Yeah, just like kind of a, a natural flowy trajectory to it. So these, I, I just include these for reference, um, just so we have a, a point of reference or a, a cross reference, a uh, something to compare the other straight lines to. and no real strong conclusions on these particular examples, but they're, they're interesting to observe nonetheless. So yeah, these dark streaks across the landscape could be any number of things, even this as well. Okay. More of it here. All right, place marks back on. Right and okay, this is an interesting one. So here's that long ridge we were looking at in the beginning, like this guy right here. Then up to the north of it, we have this edge of this um, mountainous or cliff area or hill hilly area. And it's a very straight looking, clean edge to it, which is noteworthy in my opinion. So at this end, looking fairly natural, or just, we, it just kind of trails off, you know, there's kind of like a, like a ridge or something like that. But uh, see like here, could just be the, coloration of the image, like the, the, the way the image is colorized with like elevation and stuff. That could have something to do with the, the stark appearance or the abrupt transition between this area and this area. But looking at it from a certain zoom level, it just looks a little mechanically precise, especially along like this stretch of it here. It's a very abrupt transition uh, when viewed from a certain zoom level. So it's a large scale maneuver potentially. And more of that. 
See how precise that is? Surgical, almost. Like a surgical transition between this and this. Again, could be natural. It's just uh, striking and noteworthy, in my opinion, and relevant to this conversation. So there it is, whatever it is. Isn't that my isn't that my trademark now? My saying is what it is, whatever it is, <laughs> or something like that. Again, here, kind of a linear abruptness to the the edge. Like here, like this, this. So these uh, these edges of hillsides have kind of a surgically surgically precise aspect to them, in my opinion. And this is all my opinion, so if you disagree, that's cool. Although, I don't respect opinions, even mine. I respect the truth. Or, you know, I say that, I, I feel like I'm supposed to feel that way, but then I'm, <laughs> I'm always guilty of being overconfident in my own opinions and overcritical of others' opinions. I think we all are to some degree. But I feel like I should, I should respect the truth over opinions. So I present my opinions, you, you uh, compare that to yours and whatever. <laughs> Sometimes I talk and it comes out good. Other times, comes out really good. All right, and dirt road maybe, all right. But I only highlighted some examples of this, but the idea is there are quite a few places we could classify as surgically abrupt transitions or odd, oddly precise or abrupt transitions between uh, reg regions. All right, let's uh, hit the rest of my place marks in the area. Uh, just for reference, this area I showed in a previous video, I think strange patterns. This is like the things, the patterns used to calibrate satellite cameras. There's another one or something like it some kind of airstrip or something and then yeah another one of these patterns over here for uh, calibrating satellite cameras and then of course these uh, archaeological aspects are quasi archaeological as is my contention and I like to try to connect dots. A lot of people think I'm connecting, trying to connect things that aren't related, but um, I don't know. Time will tell, or maybe not. We'll see. Let me see if I, I can find another one of these uh, um, artificial looking edges. I think I had a couple of these. Yeah, I think down here, this is another one. So we have this one up here, and then this one over here. So again, more of these like grooves and ridges, which make me suspect that the whole landscape is kind of terraformed in some sense. Just a little awkwardly abrupt and precise. So let's follow this guy. What does it do? It's like this. So we'll take a look at that. It's looking fairly natural along some of it, or most of it maybe. 
And then, so I think here I'm saying it is, and then this is some kind of road perhaps. This pass here is, I don't think this is a road here, but there is kind of a linear abruptness to it. Or like, this is even like a river, but like the river's straight for a while in a weird way. Like, uh, like we've seen in the cartoonish rivers thing. And then this linear aspect or somewhat linear uh, aspect here along this path. And then of course, abruptly meeting the sandy area or whatever secondary or um, there's this type of terrain and there's this other type of terrain and they meet in this fairly abrupt uh, along this abrupt line or boundary and I mean it's likely natural who knows Oh yeah, when, when viewed from a certain level, it looks just a little too perfect. But, I mean, I could still see, I could still come up with natural explanations for that type of look as well. So, I'm not too sure. And then it should be compared with stuff like this, which may be natural features, or again, maybe this large scale texturing. And what else we got? Yeah, I only really highlighted a few of these examples, but I'm seeing like, I don't know, like a, a cross-hatching type of operation happening here. Not necessarily uh, purely surface level, like um, it may it may have some depth capability, like it can create some type of organic cross-hatching pattern, uh, not just on the surface, but uh, like up to a depth of a couple hundred meters or something like that. So it's manipulating the, the whole surface. Uh, yeah. Uh, okay, and then I think I had this highlighted as well. So, yeah, we've got this, which I was showing you. And then it's this one seems to continue like over here. So we lose it under the sand here. And then it's very precise again over here. So we will look at that. So this edge here, kind of precise, could be natural. And then over here, certainly a very, I want to say, awkwardly notch or awkwardly abrupt edge here like there it's a little a little mechanical like just subtle subtle indications of some some type of uh mechanical crafting of the landscape here along this path. Um, and we see it as it kind of trails off here. It's still got a fairly well-defined boundary, which seems to meander possibly as a result of like natural erosion and such. And it continues and continues. Still see faint indications of it. like there 
and even here, very faint, but still there. And then presumably it continues here, but it's obscured by the sand. All right, all right. But it's certainly there. And then here, obviously, just a nice clean ridge. And then here, pretty clean and precise. See, doesn't this look fairly clean and precise here? I don't know why that would be if it's natural. It's pretty awkward. I mean, it could be uh, a dike or some type of ribbon of geological something or other. It's just a very strange look to it. I think it's the tooling of Earth. That's what I think. And again, I don't think I'm the first person to observe all this stuff. I know New Earth has been on this stuff for years, and or similar stuff at least. And uh, what's his name? Gary something or other. Shonung, maybe? The Ruins of Old Earth, uh, Google Earth Tour. He shows a lot of weird anomalies. So I'm, I know I gave it like this tool, I'm trying to give it like this tooling of earth brand name <laughs> or whatever, but I just want to acknowledge that a lot of people have been pointing this stuff out for years and years already. Um, but yeah, I mean, look, look how mechanically awkward this looks like. Very precise and rigid ridge with some parallel components, possibly still, still along that same path here. So this is what I would call a long straight line, folks. <clears throat> yep. And so it is a large scale thing. So again, I, I'm suspecting like some type of multi-headed or mo uh, uh, modular um, tooling method, which doesn't necessarily only like etch one uniform path, but rather it travels along a path and can do many um, variations along that path. Um, so like maybe the, the tooling radius is like a hundred meters or something like that. So as it travels along this path, it can create any pattern like out here as well and I mean I'm just spitballing but it, it would appear that we have some type of artificial something there in my opinion see it again there looking pretty awkward and it is not perfectly straight I should acknowledge that Here's some modern something. I don't think that's what's the cause of this large scale thing here, but worth noting, people doing something here. Yeah, this, this path isn't perfectly straight, but it's mechanical enough that I would suspect uh, artificialness to it. And then Meh, I don't know if I want to say old grid here. This is just probably modern stuff. Um, and maybe even this, this path continuing here, this long artificial ridge thing, like And who knows about all this stuff. Like we have to contrast it with like stuff that like could be like a false positive or something like that. Like I, I might, be tempted to say like this edge or these grooves or something like that these creases so these should all be considered like what if what if these are all natural grooves and then this is a this is a natural one too but just by statistical variation it just happens to be pretty straight um, i mean that's possible i don't necessarily think that's the most likely explanation but it could be, I guess. <laughs> or this is all artificial too, and they just took 
greater care in this area to make it look natural. Um, or I mean, again, it's, I feel like every time I use the word natural, I need to go into a discussion of how we should define that word, but anyways, we've already spent quite a long time on this general area. Let's, uh, so we have this here, and then below it down here, I want to take a quick look at this aspect of it uh, in parallel, more or less. So clean abrupt edge, like this again. Whew, yeah, I gotta say that looks pretty mechanically precise there. Just a very awkwardly clean transition there. I gotta, I gotta say, I think that's indicative of some kind of artificial something on a large scale. And it does meander and stuff. So like here, it's like, so it's not, uh, again, repeat one more time that these, these long straight lines are not always, uh, perfectly straight, uh, but nor do they have to be, uh, in order to be artificial. Like, can you really, can you really look at this from right here to here and say that's not artificial or at least, um, awkwardly precise like this line I don't know I think it's and then yeah we could f keep following it and compare it to some other stuff in the area if we want maybe this some of this I mean this may even be like image coloration actually right here or, I mean image stitching like this right here. That could be another abrupt transition thing. Uh, but yeah, this guy here. And I, I suppose should be compared to these, uh, these parallel streaks here, which may be natural. Could be like so these um, abrupt transitions, it could be like a bedrock layers which have shifted and they're now like kind of on their side and then they erode in a certain way so as to uh, uh, leave a straight pattern like this used to be like um, like layers one on top of the other of geology and then it got turned on its side by some type of large-scale tectonic activity or whatever and then now it's eroding uh, along the layers and then I mean that could be certainly something like that okay so I think I will I think I have most of what I wanted to say in the area and uh, just bear with me for a minute while I surf around and see if I skipped any uh, worthwhile uh, place marks that I wanted to um, hit on in the area. Okay, so any 360 photos in the area? Okay, more of these, um, these very uh, weird, um, like kind of almost mud breaky natural quasi-natural, quasi-artificial structures here. So just like a, f a photographic um, depict, or uh, look at the landscape, just to get an idea for it. And then this weirdness here, whatever that is. So these 360 photos come, come in pretty handy. All right, and I think there's a couple more interesting ones. Yeah, up here maybe. Uh, mm, I don't think so. Grottos, oh, okay. Yeah, I mean, obviously there's this stuff, like 
these cliff uh, rock cut cliffside archaeological areas. And yeah, I, th I do think this is related. I think it's all one big um, toy kit, like the, the earth and all the civilizational backdrop are like one big kit or like a, a playground uh, furnished for us, uh, like for us to be bandied about in, or, you know, for us to, it's like a, a cute little mouse trap. <laughs> earth is something like that. I don't know. Potentially. Even like the, the cur the contours of the buildings. I think that's all, uh, part of like a, a kit, like each, obviously there's some, uh, human contribution to the evolution of the aesthetics of these areas, but I think the overall, in general, the aesthetics of the architecture is like seeded or uh, furnished for us um, as part of this overall overarching uh, program of um, housing humans in a false environment like a an ant farm or whatever's going on, you know. So here's a good look at uh, these rock, rocky outcrops that may be sculpted by these uh, these paths we see along the ground. Like even, mm, I mean, even like these little subtle like faint lines may be related. Like just f very faint indications or remnants of some type of maneuver or just eroding layers, I don't know. But these nice little rock muffins dotting the landscape. Um, I'm not sure what the story is on these, whether these are considered natural or artificial or whatever, but just a, a good general look at what lines the landscape here. And I think there's a good chance that whatever the explanation is, this is contrived or managed at least like the, the look of this and the, the general appearance is uh, crafted artificially somehow. And I'm sure there's a lot more interesting stuff we could see if we looked at all these photos, but there's probably too much um, to do it in a timely fashion. So I'll try and wrap this up. All right. Cool. So just sand dunes and stuff. Sweet. Um, I think I had something up here I wanted to show ya. Okay, so yet another very clean uh, edge to these uh, terrains. Uh, a couple different ones that I highlighted here. So let's take a look at these. So how about this one here? Very long, straight, clean transition. Um, so I'm referring to like this here and potential other stuff here like this. But like this large scale thing. Yeah, I wasn't sure like, cause this almost looks like it could be image coloration, you know? in this particular case. See, uh, it almost looks like image stitching. So I, I don't know if I can be too confident on this particular one. Yeah, I think this might just be image coloration. Maybe, yeah. Here. Um. 
it's possible that some of that is actually there, but since it might be image coloration, I'll kind of skip it. Um, so this long clean edge here though is looking a little abrupt and surgical. Um, overall and I mean I already kind of I don't know if this is as, as good of an example as the other one but it's still half decent example and I already kind of demonstrated the point I think and see it definitely looks more precise along some stretches of it than along others like here it's looking very clean and abrupt here especially so Hopefully that's not just image coloration. Um, but anyways, there's that to consider and then it kind of goes along and continues here. Blah, blah, blah. You can always, there's always more to study. Obviously the earth is very big and there's so much of this stuff. Dur, dur, dur. Clean transition kind of continuing and that's enough of that. This did I already get oh I didn't get this yet. Dang it. <laughs> um so I still have a fair amount to cover. Uh this, this, got that. So we were just looking at this edge here and I guess following it up along here I'm saying it looks fairly clean and well defined so let's look at that yeah I mean it does like there especially Even like these, these things right here, these little notchy ditches or whatever, that may be artificial weirdness as well, or modern stuff, whatever. Okay, more stuff. Here, yeah, kind of like, um, I don't know, I'm not necessarily seeing it. Again, sometimes you gotta look at these places for like a few minutes to let your eyes acclimate. And then only after a few minutes, like the, the through lines, like the straight through lines that kind of start and stop will jump out at you and I'm, I'm still not kind of not seeing it but oh, what is it I don't know I mean who cares <laughs> um I don't know maybe leave in the comments if you're still watching like what's your what's your attention span for a Google Maps tour I feel like it's probably like an hour max. And sometimes I do feel like it takes longer than an hour to, to really give a good sense, a good comprehensive multi uh, faceted conversation of an area and uh, discuss the multiple possibilities and show the examples. Um, 
so sometimes I feel like I need to go longer than a couple hours. But there's some kind of line here, dotted line thing, whatever. And this abrupt transition here, this guy like this continuing. So there's this edge and looking nice and clean and abrupt. Here, continuing and whatever else, maybe here as well. So yeah, some kind of path here maybe, whatever's going on there. And maybe this. More of the same, basically. It's a very straight edge. Okay, let's take a look at that. So, yeah, this clean edge here. Uh, yeah, looking pretty clean and precise along a certain path. There. Maybe there as well. Here we see something. All right, and I mean, we could we could look at this area and find similar stuff. I'm sure we could, you know, what is this big ridge here? Okay, cool, long straight ridge. I mean, you get the point, obviously. Just more and more of the same. This is just a random zoom. This might even be the best example yet that I've found. This is just a random zoom. Uh, I mean, the best example in this video, it might be. Just this right here, like something just buzzing through the landscape, basically, like creating abrupt, somewhat linear patterns. And this was just a kind of random zoom here. So that just kind of illustrates how ubiquitous this stuff is. Once you know what to look for, you kind of, it's kind of just showing up everywhere or m manywhere to invent a word, lots of places. It's just, you know, there's just, a, there's a lot to find and too much to cover. So that's enough. One more there. But yeah, that's like a nice clean path. It's not a road. It's just an abrupt edge of something. See it? Long straight lines, baby. Yee. Ha, huh. more long straight line. There we go. Cool, so I think this is a pretty great example here. Hopefully you agree. And let's, I mean, you can see it kind of goes all the way, keeps going miles and miles, probably 20 miles. Who knows, who cares? All right, let's see. I wanna see if I got uh, all the place marks I have in the area. I think I did get most of them. Um, where's north up there? Okay, so I, this might be the last area I wanna cover. Uh, skip this. Just this one line here with these little streaky things. Okay, so here's more of the large scale parallelness to consider. 
So we've got these lines in this direction, these ridges or streaks or layers of rock, whatever it is, and large scale. And I'm saying it's craft work or uh, it's by someone's hand. It's uh, it's an artist's brush stroke, blah, blah, blah. brush stroke more or less. Kind of strange art, if you ask me. But it's just like I don't know. Maybe someone was just doing like the bare minimum to create uh, a landscape, which is good enough for whatever Earth. Uh, activities they wanted to conduct and here I'm following this guy this fairly straight trajectory here which starts and stops like um, but I think the the wonkiness is part of their algorithm like the the so, sometimes um, let me start that sentence over the Sometimes well executed and sometimes poorly executed patterns are both aspects of some type of algorithm which uh, is an overarching uh, governing principle of whatever manages Earth, uh, if that makes sense, hopefully. So it's some kind of long line here with, with bump, like faint bumps along it, if you're seeing that, this guy. Nice groove here, kind of interrupting this uh, transverse pattern. And it's pretty long. It kind of starts and stops. Just following this yellow line here. Some type of artificial gash or groove across the landscape. Yep. And sometimes it like kind of subtly, faintly continues, like here and here, if you, but you can barely see it, but it's still there. Like here, it's barely visible, but it's still there if you see it. And then here, it's more pronounced. So here we go, and with the uh, the sometimes with bumps along the sides, so possible spoil piles or whatever. Just following it here, looking like tire tracks here. So that's to be considered. Either modern vehicles going along that weird artificial pattern, or it's just a road. <laughs> so, uh, but since it starts and stops, like I don't know if it's an actual road. I don't know. But let's see what it looks like down here. And it crosses rivers and stuff. So along that same path, we have this. So it picks up again down here. And what does it look like here? Does it look like a road? Maybe. So here it picks up again. Yeah, kind of, kind of does. I mean, there's this stuff. So hopefully I'm not showing you a dirt road right now because that would be a waste of your time. Here's the, the bumps along the side. Um, some kind of tractor activity maybe. And then what else did I want to show you? I think, I think I just wanted to show you like the, the bumps that start and stop. So this could just be a road. Blah, 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 continuing. Not looking like much of a road here, but still some faint linear aspect to it. Kind of bumpy, see? Could be bushes along the side of the road or something. All right. OK. 
Okay, linear something, road maybe, and then what do we get into? Like some more bumps and stuff. Yeah, so here a path of these dots, which may be bushes or whatever, like here, this, these dots, here, here, spoil piles from a um, excavator or road road paver, road prepping machine. That's possible. I don't know, man. And then here we go. Here's the like the start and stop bumps. We've got like one, two, and then a couple here. One, two, a couple more. Another a few of them. So it could be like as the machine uh, travels, it carries the material for a while, and then uh, and then starts to discard it and then it can carry it for another while until it reaches some capacity and then it discards again could be something like that but i'm not seeing like a road here see these uh the little indications of a indentation in the middle that makes me think these might be canots that's q a sorry q a n a t that's canot it's a type of canal it's like a, a weird ancient thing and that's a pretty suspicious phenomenon as well. But I don't know. Here, it's just looking odd. It's almost verging on the strange patterns category here. Like it was a road, and then now it's like just bumps. <laughs> so, uh, and then yeah, yeah, more of it, like more of these dots along a path. So. Who knows, really? More of it, more of it, more of it, more of it, more of it. Yeah, and then more of it. More, more. Sometimes just one mound some or whole. Sometimes a string of them along a fairly consistent path. So it could, be, it could even be like exploratory digging or um, looking for, I don't know, diamonds or something. Or oil or any number of things, something like that. But that's just to be considered. It follows, all that follows a, uh, a long path, start and stop. And then we've got other stuff to consider like these straight stretches of river, which are potentially cartoonish river aspects. Uh, like just straight for a while, you know, like we're seeing in New Jersey and stuff and all around in the cartoonish rivers episode. What do we got here? Yeah, like a kind of a straight kind of gash here or edge of something. Okay, great. And I think I'll skip this because this this is just like a checkerboard of bumps. This could be like the strange patterns thing. And it may be related to that string of bumps we we're just looking at, or string of holes. However, it links up here with uh, this modern operation. So and it's probably just there their exploratory activity or something, whatever they've got going on. Likely. I don't know. Who knows? Probably. Maybe. Okay, and I think that is enough for China for today. Just potential artificial coastline stuff there. Here's an interesting one with a straight feature here and then straight meets curved.
curvature straight off topic um all right so i think that's all the stuff i wanted to show in china and then uh in the next video i'll cover this mongolia stuff so it's basically just just north of this area in china there's again similar stuff basic i mean basically more of the same really uh so we will check that out in the next video thank you for watching and i'll see you later